an error occurred. Every City Skylines modder has seen this before and we know what it means. Time to do detective work and that means reaching for this very important mod. The compatibility report mod is the one we want to use. Here's how to get it going. You read the instructions, subscribe to the mod, start the game, enable the mod, and then restart the game. If you don't restart the game, you don't get the report. So what does the report look like? For the record, this is not the compatibility report mod. This is something else that came out in a recent DLC. Disregard this. Instead, go straight to Content Manager, Mods, and after you've done that reload, hit Options on Compatibility Report. Here we see all the things we could do. The key is to generate that report. Once generated, open the report. Hey, there we go. We've got it here. And wow, look at these problems. All right, fair enough. I did subscribe to some mods that I knew would be incompatible so I could get this kind of error message, but yeah, this is this is exactly what we need here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this text. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, by the way, always exit to desktop and restart the game. Never exit to main menu when you're modding. Always exit to desktop. Just, it's a safe way to play the game. All right, first of all, mods that should be unsubscribed. Ooh, ow, I've got this one here, 81 tiles. I thought 81 tiles was good. It says it's totally incompatible with the current game version. It's succeeded by, oh, 81 tiles to testing. Oh, that 81 tiles. Okay, I gotta get that. All right, and oh, wait a minute. This one here got disabled because something happened here and uh, it's also not compatible with purchase it or remove need for power lines or remove need for pipes. And okay, I've got a few more here. Let's hide it in no radioactive desert and more. Well, they are compatible with the current game version, but they kind of duel with each other. And yeah, this is something I know about, and that's why I keep this one here, because this particular mod does something that Hide It doesn't do. It will allow me to turn off the uh, problem with trees on the water's edge. So yeah, if Hide It wants to fix that, that'll be great. Otherwise, I got some other issues here. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh, yeah, all these are combat conflicting with my 81 tiles, too. Ah. But it's more than just the ones I need to unsubscribe on. I've also got some minor issues here. There's a warning here on advanced vehicle options, on barges, on date changer. There are some things that I need to be aware of. If I don't have these problems, play on, let them stay. But if I start to have these problems, I need to look at making a choice. Which mod do I keep? There are mods with remarks simply saying that it's compatible with the current game version. And maybe you also want to do something else with this mod here. Or maybe the mod is abandoned and it may not get updated again. Now on some mods, for example, like custom name lists, this might not be an issue. The game itself is already six years old. The chances of getting lots of new DLC that will impact this particular area are small. So I may be able to just keep riding on with this. But if we do get new DLC and it does do something with name lists or the customize it function or something like that, then, well, I've got to say goodbye to these mods if they're not getting updated. This is good to know just in case something happens in the future. Now, we also get to ones where we have nothing to report. These are ones where we know things about them and we can say for sure that they are compatible. Or we get one here where it's a local mod and, uh, well, we can't say anything about that. And we can also see things where maybe we don't know if the mod is compatible or not. That may be in the minor issues or remarks there. If there are some mods that it just doesn't even know about, it'll make a comment on that as well. The key here is back to these mods I need to unsubscribe to. Let's see what this report looks like after I unsub from those mods that are really broken and load the game again. All right, I've reloaded the game. I'll generate that report. I'll open the report. And ah, all right. This is a lot less stuff here. Oop, I still have that uh, hide it, no radioactive desert conflict there. But yeah, I, I know I know what's going on here. I'll keep that. And I've got these mods with minor issues, the same as before. If we take a look, I've got 2, 10, 27, 29. And in the other one, it was 7, 10, 26, 29. And by the way, you can click on each of these to get to that particular part of the report. Very handy there. 
back up to here i i've got this particular conflict but i know what's going on and i'm willing to live with it but i got rid of all the other ones let's see if my game loads correctly hey look it loaded up just fine i've got my little reports here about what's new in these mods and if i just get rid of the overlay there we go i've got my game loaded all the flowers all the things are in there super duper going through that compatibility report checker i was able to find the mods that were having problems get rid of them and go on to play my game one thing to comment about in the compatibility report is that it does recommend mods that replace mods that are broken so if you have a mod that's been discontinued by one author but picked up by another, the link will be there in the report to get to that mod. I click here, I get to 81 Tiles 2 testing, which is alive and ready to go. It will also note if using a particular mod will mean that a game will or will not load without it anymore. Mods like 81 Tiles and 81 Tiles 2 absolutely will break saves if you don't have them. Mods like the Tree and Pro Proper Placer, Bob, if you don't have it, no problem. You may see some changes you made in Bob not appear if you don't load the mod, but it'll be okay. Hey, compatibility report even checks on itself. <laughs> all in all, if you're playing a modded game in City Skylines, you want the compatibility report mod to give you reports like this so you know the state of your mods. If you haven't played in a while, if there's been a DLC update, if there's been a change in the modding community and you just slept on it, run this report every now and then just to see how things are going in your mods. I've got it on this part of the screen just for that kind of purpose there. So it's an area that I could read up on and make some decisions about which mods I'm using. And in case one breaks, I've got some tips about mods I could go to as a possible replacement. And yes, I did find this one here about a particular mod where it just doesn't have enough information to know if it works well. If you're troubleshooting things and you've gotten rid of all the other conflicts and everything else seems fine, if you're still having a problem, it may be in one of these mods that we just don't know enough about right now. But it's also most likely that they're not going to be causing a problem because they make some very small changes in very small ways. Could you play with mods, be a smart guy, go to Chameleon's Workshop and get Compatibility Report, get the latest version, load it, run it, and see what the state of your mods may be and play intelligently. Next time you have a crash, this is where you do your detective work and you find the answers to the questions you have about why my game isn't loading.